Alabama's rivers and streams are loaded with historic treasures. All it takes is a little bit of legwork and you never know what you'll find. That's a hunch. No, it's not. Oh. You're a I'm not lying. Got a full crew today, headed to the river. I gotta get some on the, on the what is it? They're little... called St. Corn. Is that what the red thing is? Yeah, uh -huh. and here's another one. It's really cool because the tip of them is like they've been, you know. I would just, <laughs> She's touching it, it kind of looks like a uh, wet Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that is a wet Cheeto. <laughs> so, so, so is that edible or no? Not, not with it looking like that, it ain't. Ugh. All right, well, let's get to the river and go find some old stuff. Not old mushrooms. <laughs> So these guys have been specially trained to smell antique bottles. So let's see if they can do their job today. You gonna find us some bottles? <laughs> or marbles? We're heading straight towards the bank that has produced quite a few antique bottles for me over the years. A lot has washed out of that bank right there. So we're gonna see if anything's there. Miranda has struck first. Absolutely gorgeous day today. There may be some mushroom hunting, there may be some bottle hunting, but the first find of the day is gonna be this awesome try me. We hate that it's broken in half, but you know us, we're gonna cut it right there at that bar, make an awesome double shot whiskey, and this one is from Birmingham. So breaking in Kyle and Natalie, we got his buddy over here, and we are just conquering this creek today. All right, you see it right here, guys? Yes. Straight up and down. Ah, oh, it is just the bottom. Oh. What was it? It was a soda. Looks like it was a Pioneer bottle and works. That would have been a good one. Look how thick that glass was. Nice and old. They were in business around 1916, so we're talking about 108, 109 years old. And as you can see, we are four wide and I'm bringing up the rear. We're here for anything that may be old today, whether it's fossils, Native American artifacts, or old bottles. We're gonna take it all and we're gonna clean up the trash while we're at it. You know, a hundred years ago, it was a really, really big deal to keep your shoes really, really polished because we find more of these shoe polish oh, bottles yeah. than we do anything else. <laughs> so many of those. That is crazy. At least it's a cork top. Yeah, it's a nice old bottle. We know we're at least a century old. <laughs> That's what we're, that means we're on the right track. Kyle, what do you think about these Alabama creeks, man? Man, this is like beautiful. Water is clear. I mean, you said it's not even as clear as usual. Which no, is it's normally a lot clearer than this, but I, I guess uh, compared to Florida, compared though. Compared to a lot of Florida stuff. Unless you're in the springs, it's not this clear. But check this crazy. out. This was just found right here. I picked it up. I have no idea. It's it's an old whiskey for sure. You can tell by the neck up here, but it was embossed right around the shoulder. All I can see is A-L-S-O-B-R-O, and I can't tell what's below that. It almost looks like that could have been Chattanooga, but I'm not for sure. Any of you guys that may be familiar with this bottle, feel free to drop a comment and let us know. And this adventure is just getting started. So let's get in here and find some really cool stuff. Miranda got another one. What is that? Probably like a little condiment bottle. Or a, or, yeah, or a powder. Yeah, like talcum powder. I don't know. Either way, this doesn't belong in here. We're going to put it in the backpack. We're going to carry it out with us. So wait a second, we're supposed to be hunting for bottles and these guys are finding fossils. So it's gonna be hard to tell because it's a little water warm, but see all these little circles there? Yeah. So this is Stigmaria. So this is actually the root of trees from the Carboniferous, uh, Sigillaria and Lepidodendron. That's around 350 million years old. So if you guys wanna know about fossils, you're not on the right <laughs> channel. You need to be on his channel because I'd have walked over that and said, that's a funky looking piece of coal. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, it is a coal fossil. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool though. <laughs> They're spotting plant fossils all in this wall right here. And the rocks are incredibly slick right now, so really the whole reason the camera's rolling is to see if we can catch Kyle falling down. Let's see if you can do it without falling down. It's so slippery, dude. <laughs> it's bad. I'm trying to hold on, hold to it. Oh, that's, oh gosh. Right here is rough. She's got a hole in her waders, so she's doing the best she can to try to keep it from filling up. She slid down a bank onto what we call devil's cane or the devil's walking stick, and it went right through the neoprene. I made it. <laughs> Easy does it there, broke ankle. She's the one with pins in her ankles. We don't want her going down. Oh, that'd be bad. <laughs> I'll float you right back to the truck, babe. Don't worry. The water's only yeah. like 32 degrees. Yeah, it's perfect. Take a look right here. 
Look at that beautiful flower on it. I know. I put that in a tumbler, though, with all the H cracks, and it would just... Disintegrate? Yeah, and that the hand-painted stuff right there, it just, it just comes polishes off. it right off. I hate that, because that is a beautiful piece. I felt this with my foot. I actually didn't see it. You can see it says Coca-Lula Pioneer. This is another one of those. Would have been a beautiful bottle. Sadly, it is broken. But if you look right down here, I see another top. It makes me think we're on the path to find something pretty cool. Another cork top that would have been to a flask. Might have been a really cool local flask. So let's keep going. See if we can find something whole. You got something good. Let's see it. Oh, what is that? <laughs> what in the world? Hold me. What is that for? I don't know. It's kind of weird how they're attached. To... It is. It's like it was made to pivot. Yeah. Sounds like a Friends episode. Pivot. <laughs> pivot. <laughs> Let's pivot to some bottles. <laughs> what? Oh, a drill for? Yeah, they would drill out the mines that's for the mining cool. sites. Little paperweight. And it's just the width where they could drop that's a stick cool. of dynamite in there and blast. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Too. Oh, dang. It's just like a so close. I forgot about that, man. That would have been a good whiskey glass if it weren't for the flash, too. Crack there. It's cool. Wow. Still killer, though. It means yeah. we're on the right track. Yeah, we're Look right there. Flowers. Oh, those are pretty. I love those. What are you going to do with like those? You just saw that picture. You going to make some earrings with those? That's nice. Uh, I don't know. It might be too thick, but I'll give it a, a shot. All right. We'll take it out and see what we can do with it. Yeah. It's a small one. It's it a is a calamite. calamite horse, we, cannot uh, take these we cannot take these fossil people anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And they got a really cool plant fossil back there that I didn't get on my side of the video. So be sure you go over to his side to check out the plant fossil they found a little bit earlier. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> don't you come over here. Take a look at that. I just pulled that out of the bottom. Machete handle. You saved the shake for me. I don't blame you. Yeah, it's kind of deep over here, too. Oh, right here. Oh, I see it. That's a hutch. No, it's not. You're a lie. I'm not lying. I keep trying to fall down because I'm in the mud. Oh, it's the crown top one. Oh, it's the crown top. <laughs> it's, crown top. Well, this is usually a hutch. This is tougher to find than the hutch. Dude, you're going to like this bottle. You, like you can it. have it because I've got oh, one. Oh, yeah? Hey, I'll take it. Cool. Look at the eagle on the oh, back. Dude, that is cool. Wow, that's you beautiful. You always find our stuff in the wall. Oh, my gosh. What's it say down here? That's going to flip the flip it over to the other side. Oh, nice, Alabama dude. Bottling Company, Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, I'm going to go get my rake Man, that's wall. beautiful. That's crazy, isn't it? That is awesome. But yeah, I've found a bunch of them through the years, so that one's all yours, man. Oh, I appreciate it. Take man. it home that's to Florida. Awesome. I will very happily put that on the show. That's why. I, look with the seam how high that is off the water yeah, level. That was way up there. That's crazy. And Miranda's like, I gotta get one. She's gonna fall down. It's slick over there. Be careful. Man, that's a cool bottle. <laughs> Told you. Look at the size of that shell. Good lord. It's a big boy. Or a muscle. I don't know what you would call it. What you got? Oh, I see it sticking out right there. Something small. Wiggle it out. He don't want you to have it, man. <laughs> the creek says it's mine. Oh, oh it's, it's a little jar. jar. Might be a horlicks. What's in it? Oh. Huh. <laughs> it's older, though. I mean, yeah. 30s or 40s, more oh, than likely. Okay. So, I mean. Huh. It'd be a nice little. Uh... What could you put in there? Guitar picks? No, those won't fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> Toothpicks. Toothpicks. Yeah, some kind of pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> Nice big overhang. Hopefully it don't fall on me. Yeah, I was going to say that looks like that has recently fell right there. <laughs> there you go, right here. Check it out. Watch out. It's oh, dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous. That's very dangerous. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, first sharp object of the day, huh? That's freaky. <laughs> Man, I still think that's just a beautiful thing to walk around a creek bend and see that. Oh, yeah. Awesome spot. I would think that the Native Americans really thrived in this area. Though I've only ever found one complete point here, I know that they had to have been just everywhere in this area. Another heartbreaker, guys. That would have been a really good whiskey glass, but it's flashed all the way down into the slug plate. Sad. Sad day. Sad day. Oh, side the, coke piece. he got a straight side coke piece right there, so we know that's pre-1915. With this circle slug, that's probably about 1910, so we know we're playing in that 110-year-old bracket. Got another broke one out here. See what it was. Another Coca-Lula. It's got a flash down into the Pioneer. 
but I may be able to save the bottom of that for a whiskey glass. It doesn't belong in here though, so let's take it out with us. All right, guys, right here. Let's see, I think it's a French's mustard. That's what it is, I can tell by the shape, but this is going to be one of the newer ones, I think. You see, it says design patented. The earlier ones have like a 1920 patent date on it. That's all right though, the glass doesn't belong in here. Let's get it out. Kyle. <laughs> you got me, I thought that sucker was whole. I guess they're finding all kinds of weird stuff today. Look at that shell. Probably some kid brought it out here a long time ago playing. <laughs> She's fighting that current. <laughs> that one's the young puppy and he's struggling today. Sahara. She's like, here I come. She's all about this one. All right, I see multiple things right here. First off, I reached down and picked up this old wine bottle piece. Then if you look down here, it's a tray of some kind. I don't know what kind of tray that would have been. It does look like it may be more modern than what I initially thought. Then right here, if you take a look, I'm setting stuff down between my feet where it won't wash away. Look at that. Western stoneware, which is pretty cool. Just gonna pick these back up. And if you look right over here, I see a hobble skirt sticking out, all in the same little catch point. This looks like this is gonna be a modern, just so you guys know. Hey, look, there's a jug part right there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, so there's a modern geez. coat. But look right there at that big jug piece. You see it? Nice. Look at that Western oh, stoneware. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see about the jug piece. It went from zero to 60 real fast, didn't it, Kyle? It did, we right? didn't see anything, and all of a sudden, a bunch of stuff starts popping up. Yeah, that's, that's how it be sometimes. That would have been a big jug right there, too. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a big one. Wow. That's beautiful. Big, beautiful Bennington marble. So the Bennington marbles are older, so that puts us right in that hutch era we're looking for. That's beautiful. That is awesome. It's a beautiful day out here. Yeah, Let's get it. it's gorgeous. It's oh, yeah. Here. Here's some of the jug pieces we found in that nice. stretch. Whoa. That's beautiful, babe. I'm Good job. River glass. Oh, nice. oh, look at it while it's wet. Wow. Yeah. Is that pretty? That is super cool. People often ask what our favorite finds are from all of our past adventures. I've got to be honest with you. It's the friends we've made along the way. Hope y'all enjoyed today's adventure, and we'll see you guys in the next video.